which is this direction. Uh, what are you guys doing before you uh, pack up and leave? Any last minute things? Uh, figuring out who this ice person is. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Been here the whole time. What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Leo gave his little description. I read it out for us. Um, you didn't give your name, though. Well, like, technically, they don't know you. Just, um, so just, yeah. Uh, Evelyn Oleron. All right. Hmm. So then yeah. we've got... You were here for when they were telling what their names were, right, Leo? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you rattle them off? Yeah, no. test, <laughs> test time. <laughs> no, didn't listen. <laughs> All right. We'll have to do it all over again. All right, enhance. No, no. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. So is the party going to continue on with the journey up the road to the north? Aye. Presumably. All right. Why is yeah. there a then, road down here, by the way? You'll find out later. It doesn't, doesn't lead to anywhere. All right, so we're going to move to this map, and you guys are going to be here on the bottom. Well, down here. Okay. Turns out, Theo, we were we were in that crater for like centuries, and it's just the road to those fucking idiots sleeping in the crater. Look, they're still <laughs> there. <laughs> for a tourist attraction. <laughs> On the uh, main map, there was uh, there's like a lake um, past the crater where you guys were, but the road doesn't go all the way to it. Lazy ass road. Yeah. Maybe it was a work in progress. All right. So, what order are you guys it. gonna? Get in order that you're traveling in. Or big reunion front. Fighter second. <laughs> okay. Guys, it's, it's just a bunch of people that want to be in the front. I'm, I'll be right back here where it's safe and nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. All I'm right. happy following because this Jesus is formation. this is a road. I'm not used Jesus. to road. <laughs> Party mode. Jesus mode. <laughs> Activate. <laughs> Transform. <laughs> All right. Um. Is any up. so is anybody paying attention or are people just daydreaming with um anyone that's oh, paying I'm, attention roll perception? Oh my eyes fucking yeah. peeled. I'm at the front I'm of the I'm strumming looking. my loot. Uh, I'm gonna use inspiration to add a D4. Uh add wait, a that was that was yesterday. Hold on. Yeah, that yeah. was a long while ago. Yeah, I forgot to untick. And also that. it's a D6 <laughs> you nerd. With all, all right. the hair covering my eyes, I can still see. <laughs> You've got an eyeball on the end of each hair. That's it for people who are, who are paying attention? Oh, yeah, I'm not paying attention to All shit. Right. So the ones that rolled a war of 14, you guys are going to notice some little shadows and stuff underneath the bridge. All right, which, one, which, which one of the Billy Goats Gruff wants to go first? There's <laughs> shadows on both sides of the uh, of the bridges, kind of like they're moving around and stuff, and you can hear like clanging. Clanging? They're yeah. I'll go first. They can do their worst. Oh, I, could, I could be the little Billy guys. Goat Gruff. Oh no, I'm not worth anything. You should go get the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three. So, are you guys four. gonna stop, or are you guys gonna keep, like, cautiously move up? I'm clueless. I didn't yeah. notice anything. I didn't notice anything. So it's up to Navnik and add it on. And Evelyn, there Evelyn are some this. shadows by the bridge. I'm not gonna say yeah. that. Yeah, like, uh, you mean besides the br the shadow the bridge is casting? No. No. Like, okay. No. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I'll just draw my rapier and start kind of stepping off the, uh, the road a little. Oh, I like your thinking. Fan mm -hmm. out. And I'm drawing a javelin. Not only drawing it, but I'm pulling it out of my backpack. I'm going to approach. Do do do, do strum strum. <laughs> oh there. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's friendlies. <laughs> oh there. It's State the your cow. intent if you dare. Yeah, I'm All guessing right. these guys are obvious undead. Yeah, they're they're skeletons, right. and that's what the clang is. As like they're gonna, as I hear your like noise, like like the hoe there and stuff, they're gonna start moving out from underneath the shadows and kind of walk up to the banks a bit. No. 
Who made I this will road? grab my spear. <laughs> um, and let's bring up the turn order. I will have you guys roll initiatives. All right. Yay. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually ready to go. Who let all these undead <laughs> It's was not ready to go. I'm so ready. I can't be bothered. <laughs> well, then you'll Are be a perfectly good meat shield. Yay. <laughs> One, two, three, three, four, four five, six. Seven. No, that's eight. Seven. Okay. Yeah, we have everybody. All right. Uh, descending. All right. Your left. What are you going to be doing? I will take a step here. Mm -hmm. And then I will cast uh, Heroism <laughs> on Miss Evelyn there. You got this. Go get him. Yeah. And I will step back here and use a bonus action to give Adadon a bardic inspiration. I feel so inspired. You guys got this! What is your, uh, temporary... Now uh, you get four. Four, thank you, my dear. Mm -hmm. That's it for me. That's just staying good. nice in the back. Right. Where it's... <laughs> Stay safe. What, what is, um, what the... What die do the fighters have? D10. Yeah, fighters are D10. Yeah. Sweet. Keep in mind, you don't get the hit points till your turn. Okay. Uh, thing. Why can I not? There it goes. Just having some issues. Uh, hmm. At the start of each of my turns, I see. When do they go? After sure, we literally have like a party of just frontline. <laughs> <Like, Yeah. laughs> well, hold on. I'm not frontline. Frontline. I can still I make it there. So I'm frontline. Frontline. Front I oh. could be frontline. So, I'm going to charge up and attempt to... Alright, these guys are... Well, they're obviously skeletons, but I already drew my right here, so... Uh... Poke them right through the ribs! Wait, no! <laughs> I mean, they're not resistant to it, so... I'll just be smashing rather than stabbing. I don't know. Well, probably not. Uh, Actually, I th hang on. I think that hits. Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Uh, no, wait. Does ty do ties for AC go to defenders? Ties, ties it, go to whoever rolled. Yeah. Oh, to whoever Honestly, rolled. it it depends. But usually, if you meet if you meet or reach the AC, it's usually. Oh, it works. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's how most people roll. At least the tie goes right. to the so roller. Six. All right. Because like for DC. So it's, it's actually defender. it's actually eight. Remember, because these guys are undead. Oh yeah. So it's eight. Yeah. Right. Um. And I guess while I'm running over, I'll draw out a mace and try and smack them in the face with that as well. Oh, well, that'll work. All right. Uh, I think you definitely hit him. Bone and rock. <laughs> I mean, it's a bone, bone mace, so. Uh, yeah. So I it, I can just turn off the two, because this is an offhand weapon, and I don't have the, uh, the offhand thing yet. So oh, I won't take it off here, I don't think. Oh, nice, it did. Okay. Well, yeah, so it's five rather than three. Alright, so you just fucking, you just bodied it. You just walked up and just fucking bonk, bonk, and now it's just, it just crumbles. Yep. Yeah. Navnik is going to let out a roar. Alright, that's it for your turn. Mm-hmm. Movement attack and bonus, so. Yep, Scarnage. I was muted when I said that. Uh, yeah, you were. Take the dodge action. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Evelyn. It's me. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> yep. Hmm? Now to right. cared more, he probably would just. That hits. Oh. <laughs> You run forward. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oops, wait. Hold on. Yeah, that right? Max damage shot. Wait, is that right? 
I mean, like, it's longbow plus your dex bone uh, black dex modifier. So. Oh, you do get your bonus. Yeah, mm-hmm. as long as you're proficient with the weapon. Oh, I didn't realize that. Didn't that I would never. <laughs> me never played Marshall before. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, spells that don't don't usually get the bonus attached to them. Yeah. Interesting. Alrighty. Nice. Who'd you fire at? Uh, this guy right here. Oh. All right. So that's it. Yeah. All right. Skeletons. This one's gonna walk up to Navnik. Um, let's just double check on how far they can go. Oh, yeah, and I gained four right. temporary HP. Uh, that one. This one's gonna walk over here. And then this one. Let's just double check something. Alright, and those ones are gonna stay there. Alright, so this one to you, Navnik, is going to make a short sword attack. Mm, 15. Near miss. All right. All right, and then the, I have to manually roll the damage for this, I think. Mm. Thing, there it goes. Right. So I'm just going to write my AC. Oh, you said it was a near miss? Yeah, it's a near miss. Oh, okay. I thought you said it was a hit for some reason. Nope, That's my AC is 17. So. Gotcha. All right. Um, this one that got hit by Evelyn is going to take a short bow attack on you. Oh, they're firing projectiles back. Okay, I'm, I did. I have five misses. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, I added I added my hit points and my AC in the um, gotcha. so you can attach. Yeah. Um, and then this one's gonna make a short sword attack against Lumpy. Yep, that hits. Alright, uh... Oh, it's so nice to be playing a character with you the take three PC again. Holy hell. And then the Are one you in playing the... that has a bad one. In the back. Uh, yeah. the last two characters I played. <laughs> M Gash and the other KL. Does a twenty uh, oh yeah, twenty two hits Nafnik, right? With the short bow? Yeah. The one in the back. I would hope a twenty two hits. <laughs> yeah. no, no. My Z seventeen. Alright. Snaps the arrow in half with his big jaws. <laughs> nope, I'm not a monk. Though such a thing would be horrifyingly <laughs> effective. Oh, like monk. oh my. <laughs> Get it away from me. Didn't realize there were more. I didn't look up the room. Alright. Uh, I don't think it can shoot. So this one's going to make a, a short bow attack at you as well, because I'm assuming it can't. wouldn't be able to see the short person Goblin? behind you. Yeah. No. yeah. And nope. that misses the one in the middle. Let's see. I was going to take a shot at Evelyn. Fire the artillery. Miss. And then Do this one's going to sh- artillery? shoot at Adidon. They do now, Mitchell, just because you said that. Oh, God, there it is. Uh, three damage on added on. You. F- oh. And then this one. Uh, I don't. know, yeah, that's a little bit of cover. It would I guess should have added on as well because the clay golems behind him. Six damage this time. All right, and that is it for the skeletons. There's a ton of skeletons. Added on. What is your retaliation? <laughs> I well, have lots of boo boos. Uh, going to um. Over here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna attack. Uh, uh, what did you roll? Yeah, that hits. Alright, and as you hit it, it just. The bones all just kind of like 
let loose and come undone, and they just kind of crumble into a pile of bones and mismatch of weapons. Oh. It was at one health. <laughs> I didn't realize he got attacked. Leo hit it with his uh, longbow. Oh. Alright. I was... It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Alright. It's... It's will move... Oh, wait. There's one near Master. Must focus. Hold on. Yes! I have to move over there. I like to imagine you roll. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolls over. <laughs> <laughs> I got a goal. <laughs> I actually really love that. Alright. I rolled over, and now I'm going to hit it with uh, one of my unarmed strikes. Mm -hmm. Punch it. That hits. Oh, wait, no, that didn't work. All right, it takes seven. And then do I get a second strike? Yeah? I, yep. As, a, as yeah. a bonus action, you can use the second one, yes. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. I, I was reading. I read it. I did uh, it. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, uh, second more. strike. That oh. hits. Wow! And it crumbles to the ground. Ooh, so you just, like, you punch it hard enough that you, like, you just break the bones and, like, and just send them flying. And it's just... a good bodyguard. At that part, it just goes, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Provocanu. He's raging. Get mad. That misses. I don't know if my trinket it works. Not yet. right now, no. Okay. You're, it, they don't work yet. Okay. Out of right. battery. <laughs> I haven't attempted yeah. to it yet. We we just have to keep walking around. I'll charge eventually. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's like fucking uh, Rick and Morty's car. Your L. Charges with steps. It's like how hurt it. how hurt are various people? Uh, uh I don't know. Very, I'm bloodied. Very hurt. All right. I'll bonus action. Toss a healing word to add it on. Yeah, it's at first level. Boink. Ooh. Back up to 10 health. That's very nice. How deep is the water, by the way? Uh, They were kind of like standing in it, so they'd be up to like, if you're like six foot, it'd be up to like maybe your waist. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. So it's like, you know, like three feet deep. Mm hmm. And I'll point at this guy. Uh oh. Which instrument today? <laughs> yeah, definitely just. This is definitely a loot kind of attack. <laughs> strum, strum! You're a real bomb! <laughs> was... I felt that mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it takes right. above two damage on that thing. Not no, yet. I have not. <laughs> it takes you. You deal one damage to it. Yep, and he'll have disadvantage on his next attack. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Nevening. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. This thing is not liking trying to select the token. Uh, yeah, I think actually, uh, it's gonna just freaking move around a whole bunch. But yeah, I'm just gonna move underneath <laughs> the bridge out of there. Line of sight. Yeah, for now. All right. So, and that's, do you want to yep. hold any actions or anything? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll I'll hold the rapier stab in case All one, right. of them gets one close peeks underneath or something. Okay. Yeah. Scarnage. Scarnage is gonna cast bless on. Uh, 
from this person. Added on. This person. And this person. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Who are the four? Three. Three. Yeah. Three. Um, Added on. It's a Navnik. And the other two in the front line. Right. Added on. So Added on, Navnik, and it's. It's. Neat. Yeah. Interesting. Holy heck. The thing. And then right. move. Nowhere. Actually, can okay. I, like, take cover behind the. The. Um. Whatever you call it. Like the, the ridge stone pillar? The... Yeah, the. Yeah, since you're smaller, I'll say it would, it, you know, it's more or less, like, effective. Like, there might be, like, a shoulder peeking out, yeah. but you're, pr like, three-quarters covered. Thinking, like, full concealment or something like no, that. No, you're, like, you're, I'd say, like, three-quarters. I don't exist! Yes, you do! Right. No, I don't! <laughs> Evelyn. Hey, it's me, I got Stop more health. Stop looking at me! Or, wait, do I get more health, Jig, or is it still four? It just, it just goes to four. Alright, just keep getting four. Uh, this guy. That one. That hits. Pew. Eight damage. All right. I guess I will move up a little bit. And that will be it. I take it you don't have any like bonus actions you can do, right? No, I don't. All right. Five. Skeletons. We'll start with the one fighting uh, Pinval Grenu, and he is going to slash at you with his short sword. Let's see. Did that hit you? Yes. Alright. Uh... Stabby stab. You take five damage one. <clears throat> no, that's not how it's um, my damage reduction does it round up or round down? I don't know. I Anybody in the past? Is it rounds down? I want to say, but I don't remember. Yeah, I'll I'll say it rounds down. It doesn't say in the ability. Um, it it just says you have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. So maybe we should check the section that describes resistance to damage. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't state, so... Uh, yeah, okay, there we are. Yeah, it has it elsewhere, but yeah, rounded down damage is always... How much eight. does it round down? So or is it just next to the next point? Oh, so it would you'd be take you'd take four instead of five? No, no. If, he, if he takes five oh. damage and is halved, he takes two rather than three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's half damage and he's down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you take two damage on. Yep. Because of resistance. Um, this sure. one is going to attack at its with a short bow. Its does a twelve hit. Mm, do I look at my AC? Your AC, yes. No. Alright. Then next... Oh, your AC is probably pretty good, being a golem. Um, This one is going to shoot at Evelyn. Oh, yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> one, two, three. Two. Six damage on Evelyn. And then the one next to it is going to shoot at Adidon. Let's see, Adidon. Nope, that misses. And then the one past that um, is going to shoot at Adidon as well. That misses. All right, and that is it for the skeletons. Adidon's turn. Oh, okay. 
It's a perfect bridge to charge across. Oh, that's so gonna. <laughs> what are you doing? I th I th skeletons They're not on in squares. Deck. It's fine. It's weird because yeah. of the fucking custom map uh, thing and the D. Yeah. You hit either, both of these. Either, yeah, either stick with the squares that roll yeah. twenty goes. Or... I, I realized after I made the first two maps that it um the map maker has its own grid. Yeah. So, all right. So yeah, if you're charging, you'll you'll hit like both of them because they're like standing beside each other. Oh, it's not a. Oh, it's not. All right. Only well. a one person attack. If all right, then it. just pick one that but you want to hit. That's the same distance as me. Like, why would I take the dash action if I could just walk up here normal? Yeah. So I'm going to. I mean, charging uh, isn't actually a thing anymore, so it's just gotcha. no, purely I have cosmetic. No, rush. Well, yeah, unless you have the ability. All right, Not so just, anyone could charge. That's what crazy. are you doing? Is what I'm trying Mace. to ask. Mace, which one, the left one or the right one? Uh, Windu. Mace. <laughs> the one on the right is the most wounded. I uh, hit the one that's not wounded. All right. It's still standing, but it's. I will push it. Yep. It's gotta be the fifteen. It fails, so it, it goes, goes back. It ten feet backwards. Away from me. Yeah. Move it. And that's it. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Oh, that should make it easier. I just turned the, the grid off for D20. Mm. I mean, roll 20. <laughs> it's, what are you doing? That makes our icon square, though. I, I'm still yeah. trying to figure out how far I can go. You know well, how it is. What is your movement? 30, but it, the squares confused me. Yeah, so you can just, like, draw from your icon. It's you can just go 30 based stuff of that. It's not exactly accurate, but... Yeah, yeah. or just move, like, Five feet per square. Each square is like five feet. So, mm -hmm. uh, as long as the water doesn't slow you down, you can reach here. Hit that guy. I think yeah, the water would slow me no, down. No, it's only like it? it's only like three feet. How tall? I'm, oh, you're. I'm four, four feet. feet tall. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It, it would slow you down. It would uh be considered difficult terrain for you. Yeah. So I'll just come up. Uh, I'm going to assume I can reach this location. Yeah, you can reach the end of the bridge. Like, you gonna... can get up, like, behind added on. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come up behind, and I'm going to throw my spear at this guy. Yep. So. Which one is the throwing? I know that there is a throwing option. I thought I put it in. Um, hey, 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 hey. I think you just have one handed and two handed. I don't know. I yeah, I think throwing works exactly the same as the melee version, I believe, for throwing weapons at the very least. Yeah, when you throw throw like a weapon as a monk, it's just your martial weapon. So you would just roll the damage like you normally would. Like yeah. roll the hit. For one yeah, you, then you roll... thing, no one throws with two hands. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh that you throw it and it kinda just misses them. Cries. Well, you can't, can't cry. Four to that. I don't know if that oh, Yeah. Happen. I can. I'm gonna mm, add it. four it should hit. Yes. Slash D thirteen's hit before. Yeah. Thirteen one, is the uh, four. AC. Well yep. oh, yeah, D four. Nice. Alright, it still misses. Yeah. <laughs> Tried, though. Alright. Pinvalk yeah. Renew. It's a good use of glass. Give you a chance. That misses. Take a big swing and you miss. <laughs> uh, oh, you're just raging again? I mean... No, you oh. 
I, I think maybe Lumpy is raging from the amount of rage. Yeah, this is, this is Lumpy the person. <laughs> <laughs> I have it in my head that when my character rages, he's like dead silent. So I'm trying not to talk. <laughs> this is very frustrating. <laughs> Yep. Slapping this guy with noodles. <laughs> you're not even slapping him, you're just missing. <laughs> uh, you are left. You've all butchered these skeletons, you're moving on to the next crowd, and I'm still. You have a D4 on that, by the way. Does he? Is he no, I was blessed. No, oh. he. I was you've blessed. Le you've blessed these three, Theo. Oh, is that. Those are. Oh, I see. That one's Mitchell. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm, gotcha. I'm, that I'm makes sense. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the lizardy people confused. Racist mm -hmm. little bitch. Yeah, I'm the blue lizard. He's the silver lizard. Uh, first, I'll use a bonus action to inspire our angry <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah, the D six, maybe it'll help. <laughs> and then, as an action, I will attempt to mock him. Oh my god, I didn't say anything. Right. That's when it made it good. So, yeah, all <laughs> right. So, so you're, mad. You're at, it's at this one, right? Yeah. All right, let's see. Wisdom. They're not very wise. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And he kicks four damage. And he has disadvantage on his next attack. Yeah. And then I'm going to move a little bit. I'm just going to move over here. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. All right. Nafnik. So I'll move out from under the bridge and attempt to stab this one. Stab. Oh. That misses. You have bless. Oh, uh, bless isn't gonna. Yeah, it's d4. I'm not gonna waste it on that. There's no chance to hit. Yeah. Uh, but I will swing with the offhand. That hits. So that's gonna connect. Uh, it actually should be well. Actually, no. Much? That, the damage is correct. It's just, it's not adding from the right source. <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh, and I guess, actually... And then now, I'll, I'll stay there. I was considering right. moving, but I have no reason to. Pass on to Scarnage. Um... Can we do here? I mean, I think there's two skeletons now that are pretty weakened if you've arranged for attack. Uh, I yes, the one in front of you, the one in front of Adidon is also hurt, and then the one that got pushed is hurt too. So you could get in melee with this one. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll try that. I'm just, yeah, I'm just offering suggestions. I don't know. If you got other things, you can do other things. Oh, Jesus. Oh I'm my god, Elton's gonna get freaking bashed. Holy Yep, hell. you just fucking annihilated him. He's just. His head went flying, his body parts just all crumble on the spot. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it's a pretty good turn. Evelyn! Yeah. Yeah. Toward, toward what? Oh, you just throwing your bow at something? <laughs> yeah, I just throws the entire bow. <laughs> <laughs> I have an arrow that fires bows. You you mean the bow that fires no. That hits. And you just fucking with the force of your arrow just shatters some his bones and he just falls into a pile of rubble. Alright. Oh, I don't even see what's happening over here. <laughs> the lumpy's struggling to hit him. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> I'm I'm <laughs> assisting. Oh, okay. No, All right, skeletons. <laughs> this one ready. is gonna make an attempt at Lumpy, but it's got disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it, yeah, it, we missed anyway, but now we missed yeah. extra. Yeah, it it missed extra heart. Fighting the uh, the remaining melee skeleton over here. And then this one is gonna take a shot at Scarnage, the one that got pushed. I will miss. All right, and then the other one is gonna take a shot at uh, at it on. All right, uh, roll one d six plus two. 
Report image. And that is it for the skeletons. Add it on, what are you doing? Smashing a skeleton, it looks like. Smashing. <laughs> yep. Um, this one is still standing, though. Okay. Um, but he's, he's hardly, like, his body, like, limbs are kind of, like, just barely holding on. Keep holding on. That's it. Alright. You know it's... you'll make, make it through. Alright. Um, can I stand here, or is this like a... That's like the column of the bridge. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Yep. Just stand behind this guy. No, wait. I just realized. This one is in front of my master! I have to go there. Punch right. in him! Charge. Yep. How dare he stand near him. That hits. And as you punch it, it just falls apart. And then they falls to the ground. I will then turn to face the one in front of uh, Stormy. That's it. I just turn <laughs> to look menacing. <laughs> I mean, you could get in range and... To... Yeah. Hit it. And then make a bonus it. action punch, right? You're right. I'm not enough. I forgot I yeah. didn't move that far. Yeah, I'll get there and I'll do my other punch. Punchy punch. Punchy punch, 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 punch. That hits. And you punch this one and it disintegrates. And dancing right. around one gun and shit. Yeah. I mean, they were both at five health. Yeah, they, well. <laughs> they weren't exactly, you know. Alright, then there's the battle of the century. You got this. <laughs> that hits. Oh, I hit. Ooh, and you kill it because it had eight health. The exactly. one time you hit it, it, it actually works and <laughs> knock it to the ground. <laughs> oh, oh, it's dead. It's dead. You stop. <laughs> it's hard to stop a rage right. barbarian. So we're going to get rid of the turn order. All right, so now that you guys have dispatched of all the skeletons, what are you guys going to be doing? I'm going to retrieve my spear. Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. It's it's broken in half, though. What? I'm just kidding. I'm going to run over to <laughs> this one and try to stop him from just repeatedly smashing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's all, you got him. Bone dust. Good job. And then I'm going to take my place where I belong. Yep. Mm. Huh? What's going on? Good job. You got him. Uh, Down in what? horror at the mangled corpse. <laughs> you got him a lot, actually. Wow. Um. Good. Good. Is everyone okay? I am. I feel great. Then... Are y'all done? Can we get a move on? Hey, you did good too. Great. Let's go. Keep it up. I. She wants to go. We should probably hurry. Oh, what happened to the grid? I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> this is a scene oh, from Bug. God, solid. That's... This is from like the bug's life when the leaf falls on their fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So as you guys all gather up, you're gonna start hearing the hooves as the horses galloping towards you. <laughs> what was that? And then <laughs> comes in this man. Oh, that didn't enlarge as much as I wanted. And I hear hooves approach. Uh, no, he's God, huge. He's huge. Wait, he's a giant. On. Oh God, he's gonna crush us all. <laughs> Get out of the way and leap over the side. Can this, you can, can this bridge hold it? <laughs> you can tell that it's just a, a human on or, like horseback. Inspire the bridge. Um, it the has bridge to be a strength safe. So he's gonna 
like be coming up to you. As he gets closer, he's gonna slow down to like just the horse is just trolling along. Um, yep. And he's gonna take open up his you know his helmet. He had his sword out because he heard some fighting, and he's gonna you know put his sword away and take off his helmet. And he's just gonna kind of look at the results of the battle, and he's like, oh, I heard some fighting going on, and I was worried that somebody was being attacked, but it looks like you folks uh, handled it pretty well. Ugh. Is anybody seriously hurt or need any uh, first aid? I could use some first aid. Uh, I'm yeah, Nick is also very obviously bloodied. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's he's basically gonna just kind of say, "All right, well, just you know, if you guys want to follow me, I can bring you back to town. We're not too far away, and we can treat everybody that's injured." Great. Um, my hood up. Okay. Wonderful. That sounds good, yes. Hello. And he's gonna... Hello. He's gonna, like, stop for a sec before leaving, and he's just gonna kind of, like, lean forward, and he's gonna, like, put his hand above his, like, eye eyebrows, like he's, like, looking at you guys, and he's just gonna... He's got, like, a quizzical look, and he's gonna say, you know, you guys are a strange uh, assortment of folks. He's like, you don't see groups like yours around here very often. It's like, what brings you guys here? We have no idea. A that... hole in the ground. We just go where the wind takes us. It's pretty Black weird. Like uh, we did hear a loud banging, you know, not so long ago from the town, but not to know why you're here is kind of kind of strange. Did um, we smash the civilization? I, I, no, there was, there's just a lake down there. Um... In some in a mountain range, so there's really nothing down there. So you didn't smash anything. Uh, my name is Sir Edward Bristlebore. Um, by the way, I'm the heir of Bristlebore uh, t town up ahead. This is area is our jurisdiction to keep an eye out. Bristlebore. You're a real Bristlebore. Uh, yeah, I, I get that a lot. Rude. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Pointing out his insecurities. That's another on the list for you. <laughs> Can I but, uh, call yeah. you Eddie? Yeah, that, that's fine. Um, I'll ask for your guys' names once we get back to town and get you guys patched up. I'm uh, Yoraleth. Why wait? Oh, nice to meet you, Yoraleth. Did you introduce your horse? Yeah, it's Nene. <laughs> Nene. She's, she's a fabulous Nene. steed. <laughs> You better not whip. <laughs> you better not whip Nene. I don't whip Nene. I'll That's watch disgusting. you. Cruel. I'll watch you whip. I'll watch you Nene. Disgustingly bright. Um. So yeah, if he's gonna just start leading up the road, and he, I'm assuming you guys are gonna follow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yep. we're going to go the opposite way. All right. <laughs> so as you guys are following along the road, um, he's gonna lead I'm you to jamming on the vial right now. By the way. It's gonna lead you to Bristlebore. It's not a big town. It's a pretty small town. They've got like wooden like stake walls kind of surrounding the perimeter of the town. Um, you guys are gonna be here at the uh, entrance. And the grid thing is happening again. Should I put myself on? Yes. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna, um... Leo's strong. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <God. laughs> Why are you so big? Oh, I don't know! Oh, Chunky. Oh, Whenever you put them on the grid, it makes them a square, but because there's no grid, it doesn't <laughs> size them properly. Thank you. It makes them whatever size they were. <laughs> that was amusing. <laughs> that big grid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if you set these to like the tokens, if even if they wasn't, you know, there wasn't a grid, if they would still come out as squares anyway. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, he's like, "Welcome to uh, Bristol Bowl, everyone." Um, he's like, "If you guys want to follow me, we can go to my uh, my manor that I, my father like that I live in. My father's still the lord of this. I'm just next in line. Um, so I'm the head of the guards around here." And so he's gonna head you guys over towards this the one fancy t house in the whole town. Oh wow! What a high class is that? Oh yeah, I'm following. Hmm. 
Yeah. So he's gonna, you know, hop off the horse. He's gonna tie Nene to like a, you know, a hitch. Bunch hop of hitch. Up. And then he's gonna, <laughs> and then he's gonna, you know, gesture for you guys to follow, and he's gonna walk inside. Um, I don't have an interior, but you know, we'll just we're inside. Do we trust? And then he's gonna him? yell for you know some people to come down and like, you know, give you guys like first aid and. They have a couple uh, people that can, you know, heal and use cure wounds. Do we trust uh, this guy? Of course. Mm. His horse Why? is named Nene. How would he be evil? <laughs> His horse is he named He seems Nene. like such a nice guy. He does so, uh, the ones that are injured, you guys can pretty much, you'll, you'll just be fully healed. Um, so then, you, you know, he's going to ask if you guys are hungry or need some water. Are we hungry? Uh, are you? Have we actually been able to eat at all? You would only have any if you had any rations on you. That's all you would have. If that's what you know you started with. I would like something. Yes, I've only had these. All right, he's like, cook, kind of make like, us some food. Oh. These travelers are hungry. And, yeah. You know, so there, you can start hearing some people like rushing around in the kitchen. That's off to like the main like foyer. They're Russian. Um, you can find something that still moves. That would be even better. No, uh, we we don't have anything alive in here. It's all, you know, smoked or cured or. Did you ask these animals before you killed them? Oh no, not this again. Uh, n no, we we hunt so we can sort of, like live. We don't kill more than what's necessary. Hey, bighorns, put this guy on your list. <laughs> what what list? Don't worry about it, Eddie. All right. Another one on You're being your very nice. My list? <laughs> so he's gonna, you know, did after... You ask, did you ask the hedges before you... You know, they're gonna, you people are gonna come out and they're gonna shakes. bring out, some, like, a, a pitcher of water and they're gonna have cups and they're gonna hand you guys all cups and no. if you want some water, they'll you know, pour you, you some water. Mix -matched personality. <laughs> so if anyone that wants, you know, a drink, they'll hand you guys a drink. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Ooh, water. It yeah, now, shakes now his head. Oh, great. He has so he's no gonna, you know, ask you guys if uh, you knew wh why there was, like, skeletons and stuff, because they're not supposed to be around in these areas. We it's, don't you know, know it's pretty strange for them to be here. We, we've never had any undead sighting in this area. Oh. We found more. We woke really? up in a big crater, and then zombies attacked us, and then we were walking. And then skeletons attacked us, and then you showed up. There was also a night where we slept in there, and a, and a fire we made, and rations we ate. I kept the fire burning. That's that's good, you know, that's good survival skills. And zombies and skeletons is very, very bizarre. So that's not well, you know, you normal. Well, you tell me. I, I assume <laughs> they were in I don't know. I don't know why they're around here, so that beats me. Um, you lived around here your whole life, right? Yeah, was, I was born and raised here. That we we deal with bandits and thieves sometimes, but nothing like zombies and skeletons. That's unheard of. Well, I would say color me surprised, but I'm already colored silver. <laughs> Is that so, uh, color of surprise? <laughs> no. It must protect his master from bad drugs. <laughs> his head rolls onto the floor. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it looks like the food's ready, so they're gonna come out with you know some like bread that was made like earlier in the day. Oh my god! Uh, did you ask this wheat before you butchered it? He's just <laughs> he's gonna hand every, they're gonna no, hand food. Said anything about asking? So I don't know why you're putting this. Put them on the list, big horns. So he's, he's, <laughs> they're gonna hand food to everybody but uh, the silver dragonborn. No. So wait, it's I just literally. Literally it's before bread? you came here. No, oh, hang on. I, there's more, but there's. Yeah. I was <laughs> cooks. The boys are when they're Here's like some oh, earlier bread earlier in the day. So they're gonna come out with um some like you know <sighs> some like meat. You know, it's heated up. It's like what kind like of pork meat chops. Talking here? Pork We're talking about like uh, pork chops or like I'll... slices of ham. Now, did you find these pork chops dead on the ground, or did I'll you think. kill these pigs? Are you <laughs> a character? Yes. <laughs> these characters might Can Valkyrie is pissed? We hunt boars? Because all so these we can live? are way worse than cutting down a tree for firewood. 
and you don't give a shit. Um, out of like curiosity, it. how good does it, it taste? It is good that you are very concerned. You know, it's, it's probably better than what you would find in the town inn because these these people are lords. Um, so they're like chefs, like they're actually trained, like semi-trained chefs or and cooks. Alcanu does not like. So you know, it's it's better than your average like ham dinner. Okay. Pork chop dinner. Yeah. Yes. The list of lines for a joke, by the way. You know. <laughs> um. He's like, have you guys? Did you guys see any like bandits or anything though while you guys were traveling? Besides, you know, skeletons and zombies. The, undead things. the only thing they wanted was our lives. Unless we're bandits, maybe we might be. We don't know. Yeah, we could be, I guess. Yeah. You guys know where you're from? Where you, you know, where you're born? Anything like that? I like that? how he just skipped over that. No, nope. like, did he stutter? <laughs> all right, that, that silver one's a little mean. I'm in a bad mood. Been like that for hours. <laughs> or and be like that. Don't worry. You just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Added on the wrong side of the, like the, on the floor. Yeah, uh, on the wrong side of the floor. Adaron doesn't like me. It pisses me off. Oh, he doesn't not like you. Um. Anyways, yeah. if you guys want, just assuming that he doesn't like, he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, that is what my character is assuming. You know, but, he's gonna offer I, if you guys want. He can write a letter to the inn that um the, the manor will pay for your guys' room costs if you guys want to stay in the town for the night. This is Wait. very courteous. I have money. That's okay. All right. He's like, uh, the markets are still open. Um, the the inn is uh just on the other side of the plaza. Um, the inn is over. I will over take here. the letter, for I Sorry. do not have very many shiny gold discs. All right, so he'll uh, start writing out a letter, and he's like, "I have a uh, a bandit problem that if you guys want you to talk." That, uh, what are you writing on? He's got parchment. Where'd you get that parchment? I bought it from a merchant. No, no, don't humor him. Where'd they get it? I don't know. <laughs> they find it on the ground? It's not my business. Did they kill a tree? Maybe. Mm. We found another we found another sinner. <laughs> so you're you're monetarily enabling this lifestyle of tree butchery by buying parchment from this merchant? This right, guy's so he's, from the merchant. He's gonna hand uh, the letter to Adon isn't paying attention to he's eating some yep. bread. Um he's eating and, some you know, bread? anybody else that wants it, you know, to say you're with with the the good lizard fellow here. Um And this says no, that they will give me room. Yes. Yes. Tip. Yes, though you'll get a free room. Uh but we'll it's not it's still gonna be paid for, just we'll pay for it for you. Very tasty. Good. Thank you. I don't know if that's tasty. I mean, you don't taste it, but yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if you guys want to come back here in the morning, um, if you guys I'll have a going job. Into bandits. Yes, 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 I'll do that. We can pay you guys for that. Pay you nicely t for the help because there's been uh, bandits uh, attacking merchants between the we'll capital. They will be paid. Well, it's for your trouble, you know, to compensate you for any injuries or equipment damages that you guys might occur. We will get over injuries. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to make heroic you guys... just to be heroic, not for a reward. Yeah, but I don't. I would. I'd feel bad for making you guys do something without some sort of reward. That's oh, nice of you, Eddie. Yes. But really, I don't mind. Well, we can we can figure it out in the morning if you guys want. You guys, you know, just got had a seemed like you had a rough walk here. You know, got attacked by some skeletons and stuff, and you guys don't seem a little dazed about where you are and things, so we'll let yeah. you guys rest, you know, check Please this mar mark if you want. I, I wouldn't exactly call it dazed. I'm very certain I have no idea why I'm here. <laughs> well, maybe if, you know, a good night's rest, you might be able to figure that out, or something might come to you, I hope. You guys all seem pretty nice, except for that strange dragonborn over there. Oh, he's had a bad day. He's a great guy. I'll take your word for it. I just feel a little impotent right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'll it'll get better. It took me so <laughs> long to kill one. But you hit that very hard. <laughs> yeah, when you got him, you did great. 
<laughs> mm. You did mediocre. Oh, right. you just no, hey, hey! Practice more. You guys both did You'll great. It with time, champ. Go, stop being cold. Anyway, I'm going to the end. Bye! Goodbye. We'll see you guys in the morning. I shall mm. follow tiny horns. Um, if there's some uh, like, yes. market stalls and stuff open up here, anybody wants to look to some shopping. Look, I said I had money. I'm not made of money. I've got like <laughs> 17 bucks. <laughs> no. I'll take a peek and see if they have anything that's like live produce or anything. But All right. Otherwise, I'm just going to ignore it. Live produce. Yeah. What kind of produce are you looking for? Produce on the ground? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and like live chickens and that sort of thing. But otherwise, I'll just ignore it. You said the inn was that one, yes. correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's the big building. So I'll, I'll just kind of like walk kind of a long thing and just take a peek and then head to the inn if I don't see anything. What, uh, what season right. is it? And what time of day is it? It's like, you know, just like two, three in the afternoon. What oh, year so is it? Um, and it, it'd be like summer right now. Oh God, how disgusting! Oh, it is the current year. By the seven of the summer court, it's hot. Oh, anywhere to cool down. How how like lit is the tavern at two in the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> Not very. It's like it's pretty mellow. All There's right. like maybe a couple people just eating like a late lunch. If you um, play your instrument well, though, it'll go from mellow to rushed in pretty quick time. Uh, you do see some like live produce when you're uh, looking around the market. Um, what are you interested in looking for? They've got some like chickens or eggs and like lettuce, stuff like that, cheese, fish. Yeah, if they have a live chicken or a live fish, then I'll try and buy one of those. All right. Hey, what are you look? You know, he's, he's just gonna look at look look at you, see that like, you're browsing, and ask what you're looking for. I wish to buy one of these flappy things. Yeah, that'd be no problem. Um, what about uh, we're looking, you know, looking at for about like two silver pieces for a chicken. Two silver discs. I do not have any silver discs. Will you accept a gold disc? Yeah, well, I can give you the uh, change back. Ah, uh, right. Here is gold disc. All right, so he'll take like the money from you and you know count out the change and hand it back to you. Yep. He just immediately, without even looking at it, puts it back where he found the five gold yeah. discs. Yeah, he he didn't cheap you like rip you off or anything. Like he gave you the right amount, and then he'll hand you a, a one pound chicken. Yep. It's a, it's I'll a just white kind of chicken. grab it, just kind of <laughs> hold it around its neck, and continue walking towards the the tavern. Yeah, it's pretty calm, you know, because it's been like the generations of like farm raised chickens, so they're pretty docile. Like it's just sitting there, like maybe might make like a cluck or two. Yep. This chicken's right. in for a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't know that. <laughs> yep. So, yep, he just kind of continues holding it and walks towards the inn. All right. Uh, anybody else looking for shopping? I'm just waiting to see where Theo goes. A dagger. You want to buy a dagger? Yes. And Theo yep. will buy a dagger. I will search for Pretty much whatever the price is in the player, like in the handbook. I will also buy a dagger. How much does a room cost? Uh, They'd probably be like like two silver okay I, I will buy a room and i'm just gonna go to sleep so i can wake up at night <laughs> all right they'll uh you know hand you a key for a room yeah i'm going um, to bed right now yeah so a dagger it looks like it's two gold pieces yeah yep. they're expensive for what they are so yep all right now separate. what are Set the paper down in the end, try and get a room. It's there. doing and added on doing. Yum. I believe it's is following me around. It's is literally just right. following. He has nothing to buy. He just walks. His weapons are fists and spear. Yeah, I mean the spear is on his back, tied up so that he doesn't lose it. Wonder oh. is that just something that 
your goblin master thought up at some point. He I'm has forgetting it. He has a backpack with like rope in it. He just tied it to make sure he doesn't lose it. He's not a bad minion. He's very good at his job. Mm-hmm. You want more spears? I mean, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Reckon all them foes. Would you like more spears? So there's Takes a market here thinks. if you want to check for anything, for any food. There's, they've got like chickens, eggs, cheese, fresh produce, weapons. What's the sky looking like? Uh, you know, it's a nice semi clear sky with like maybe like a few clouds every now and then. It's a nice the summer day. And look at the sky. All right. Lumpy, no. are you doing anything, or are you just sitting by the fountain? Wow. Yeah, I'm sitting by the fountain, kind of just looking at it. Alright. Feeling the breeze. What if anybody I is religion, have any sort of religion knowledge, these two are statues of gods and goddesses of the Pantheon, but... I don't which have ones? tons of religious knowledge, but I am familiar with what gods exist. You are yeah, familiar with life. the fact that chopping trees down is a big no-no. I'm not familiar with or at least, point of that. Nope. Or at least you think okay, that's what you know, Luffy. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's, my character doesn't really understand what he did wrong, Stormy. He's just taking it very personally, and he's looking at all these other perceived infractions that other people are doing, because he really doesn't get like what your hang-up actually is, so he's assuming that you're going after him when all these other people are doing bad things. But he doesn't. It's it's based on him not understanding you at like a very baseline level. <laughs> so yeah, you you just understand that they're like statues of some importance. You just don't know what. Um, I think that's anything else going on, or do we want to go to the? Everybody want to go to bed and. I have stuff I want to do once I wake up. Once night, my... okay, for your <laughs> early my... nap. Well, my early just sleep. Um, I will want to be sleeping outside, by the way, not inside. I will want to. Should you say what the end was? I will want to lay my hands and use my bedroll and sleep outside. Although I will socialize inside, like during dinner. All right. Uh, I mean, if yeah, it's two in the afternoon. Yeah. I think Navnik will just have his actual lunch and then probably try and pick through the corpse for something useful. You ate the chicken, I take it. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Did you eat it in public surprise, or like in private? No, he went he went up to his room. Oh, He's enough to like his mind. Yeah, yeah oh. then he just walks to the end just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn, So I guess he'll uh, I yeah, he has a cunning artisan trait, so he'll just kinda of try and work out like a couple darts out of it. Just out of oh, like little like Yeah, throwing... to make it up out of chicken bones. Yeah, uh roll your uh what is your skill for that? Uh, apparently, it's just something I can do. But if you'd like, I can roll like survival. Yeah, we'll just do a survival to see like if they're worth like if it's gonna be effective or not. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Good. So you cool. you make yeah, a, a hand like a handful out of the bigger bones, like. Yep. There's there's like an actual number. Gotcha. Uh, can I actually put it out? Yeah, that's what I'm using. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you're you know, it works. You're able to make a bunch. Yep. Um anything else going or do we want to go to Yoraleth waking up at night? I mean, yeah, I'm probably just going to rest. I have nothing else to do. Anybody that's like sleeping at the end, it would be two silver pieces, is I believe what I said. Or if they took the letter. Or if you took the letter. If you showed up with the letter and said that you were a part with the lizard man, they'll you get it for free. Okay. I forgot about that, so I spent two silver pieces. All right. And that <laughs> Which means I also spent two silver, right? I will also spend yep. two silver just because. No, wait. I want to be in the same room as you. I have to guard you. Well, yeah. Then you wouldn't have to spend it. Be able to stand in my room and not have to pay. Yeah. Exactly. Because you can just go into like a stance, kind of like a yeah. inactive mode. Yeah, I don't need a bed. I would like. So, are any of y'all still awake in the inn at like ten when I wake up? I mean, I'm standing outside of the room. <laughs> and how lit is like the inn, like 
lobby now. You know, it's it's kind of where everybody goes for their nighttime act activity in this like small town, so it's pretty packed now. So then I would probably be awake. Because if I'm sleeping just outside of the inn and it's like packed with people, there's no way I'm falling asleep. Yeah. I think he's, yeah, Navnik is just going to kind of I'm go through the pack and then... Alright, yeah, Theo, you can, you'll be able to manage to do that. Um, it might, uh, you might have to buy one from someone. Okay. I'm All right. perfectly happy to do that. I mean, is there I like a... I just wanted to look at it just to get an idea of where we were, not like... Necessarily. Is there like a stage kind of thing I can stand on? They don't, uh, it's not, they don't really have, like, a raised platform or, like, a stage or anything. Is there, like, a table I can, like, drag to the edge of the room where more, where the most people could see it if I stood on it? Yeah, you, you'll be able to do that. Um, Great. As you're doing it, though, because you're making, like, scra scraping noises and stuff, people are going to start, like, looking at you kind of weird. And one of the, like, bar like, waitresses or something, waiters might be, like, ask you, like, uh, what are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna put on a show. It'll be a good one, I promise. Uh, Talks is six gold. All right. Um, <laughs> if you know, if you want to do that, we just ask for like small, like portion of what you make. Then, if people pay you, that's fine. I wasn't really doing it for profit. All right, that's fine then. So they'll just kind of like, 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 let you go back to what you're doing. Great. So I will, uh, I'll pull a chair behind the table. Actually, how much room do I have in front of the table? Not, like, not a whole lot. Because, you know, you just kind of, like, they had, like, an arrangement, and then you just kind of, like, found a slight open, like, extra space. So that's kind of close to another table. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll stand on a it. chair behind the table. Everything was beautiful, and you yeah. broke it. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, everyone! The some people that are closer to you are gonna like kind of stop, but like they're talking and kind of like start looking at you. I will look down from the upstairs, hearing. But the people the like on voice. the other side of the room are because it's kind of loud. They're not gonna be able to really hear you, so they're just gonna be like continue like talking and murmuring Sorry, and chatting. Well, I wish I had thaumaturgy here, but that's okay. We don't have thaumaturgy. I'm going to tell you guys a tale. Ragnar the okay. Red. It's a great one. Filled with heroics and action and terrifying enemies. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a minor illusion. Ooh. And I'm gonna have the minor illusion be a uh, Pin Volkrenu. He's and it's on the table, alright? He's standing there. Off right here, dude. Hello. <laughs> hey, that's me. Hold on. Our tale follows this brave warrior. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm about to get totally flamed. So now people are going to start like, you know, paying more attention to you drinking their ale and stuff like that. You see, he's a the type of fighter you don't want to have to go against. But one fateful day, he went up against a great foe. And then I will cast a silent like a couple, image. A couple gasps from like the crowd, like. <gasps> and I'm gonna I'm gonna cast silent image, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make it on the table. I'm gonna make a like a giant skeleton appear, like way bigger than him. <laughs> you know, like hear like a loud gasp from like some chairs scraping as people kind of get startled. Everyone around them was powerless. This skeleton was just so strong. I'll have it be like swinging, and I'll I'll be making noise like ah. But, but this brave warrior, he stood up to it. He did. I know it's crazy. I wouldn't be able to stand up to that. Look how big it is. Oh. And he let out a mighty roar. And he, I'll have him like yell, and then I'll cast prestidigitation to make like a little a yelling noise. You'll hear like oohs and ahs. People start getting have really. It, I'll have it look like he's running up with his. What weapon do you use, Lumpy? Great axe. With his great axe. All right. And in one mighty hit, and I'll have it swing across the middle of the silent image, and I'll have <laughs> the skeleton sort of like in two down the middle, <laughs> and I'll just have it sort of like collapse. 
in one mighty hit, he was able to bring it down. Everyone around him was cheering. The whole everyone he was with, he saved all of them with one mighty swing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I leave. <laughs> That's the what? What next? Well, after what that, next. After that, everyone around him thanked him. He was known as a hero. I still think he is a hero. I was traveling with him. That's how I knew it happened. <laughs> you should have seen it, though. I couldn't actually make that as big as it was. That skeleton, it was way bigger. Whoa. Yeah. That's he beat impressive. Him in one hit. That's why they call him Pin Valkrenu the Mighty. Pin Valkrenu the Mighty? That's his name. That sounds awesome. He's great. He's a... One of the nicest people you'll meet, too. Where is he? Is he here uh, with you? I think so, but I, I don't know where he went. Did you did you did you leave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was in here, but he might be asleep or something. Oh. We we should we, we want to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> you want, no, make sure you don't swarm him. I don't think he likes too much attention. He doesn't think that highly of himself usually. Oh, okay. And, like, everybody's just kind of, like, the whole, like, inn's kind of, like, quiet, and now they're all, like, enamored by your, like, story, and they're all just sitting there, like, intently listening and drinking their, like, beer and ale. I mean, that, that's all about his tale for now. When I come back, though, he'll have more. Yeah! And they, like, start, like, kind of, like, cheering excitedly, like they want more stories. <laughs> does, any, does anyone want some music right now? I, I have a rule. Only one story a night. Everybody starts cheering, like... You know that, yeah, music, music. All right, I'll just start. I'll bust out the loot, right. and I'll just start playing tunes through the night. Yeah, and everybody's just gonna. And it's gonna. The noise is gonna pick up a little bit now as everybody goes back to like talking with each other and while your music plays, and everybody. It, the atmosphere feels a lot more like lighthearted now. Like everybody's a little more cheery as you keep playing. Mission complete, boys. <laughs> You might you can you see a few people as the night go they like come up drop you a few silver pieces maybe like a gold, um, and so by the end of the night we'll say that you managed to get like four gold pieces in total. All right. By the end, I mean once that's over, I'll go to the person who said they needed like a cut. Like, hey, how much do you guys get of this? They'll just take one one gold piece out of it. Okay. And then, you know, thanks they're like, that was really perform. good. You know, thanks for performing. You know, it seemed that like everybody really enjoyed it. And I mean, I'm presuming by the end of the night, like, things are settling down, but I don't I don't need to sleep again. I already slept. Yeah, so I'm, it's I'm like... I'm gonna go look for Pin Vulgar now. It's like after, you know, a few hours, like, when it gets, starts getting close to, like, midnight, um, you'll start seeing people, like, start heading home. And by, like, 1 o'clock, it's, like, pretty much just people that are sleeping here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll just look for Pin Vulcan and see if I can find him. Yep. You know, it's it's pretty dark out. Uh, you're in a tent, you said, right, Lumpy? Yeah. I put the little yeah. sleeping icon on myself. All right. I do have dark vision, so I can see at least slightly better than. Yeah. Lumpy. So if you're if you're looking for him, you'll be able to notice that there's like a tent behind this house for some reason. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go look at it. Is, is he asleep in there? Think Are you he still said up? He was sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they just speaking this strange language? They're speaking Draconic. <laughs> Did, are you waking me up? No, I'm not gonna wake you up. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'll just hang out around the tent because I want. I want to talk to you, but I'll wait till you wake up normally. I mean, I'm, I'm going to sleep for the night. So, like, you're gonna wait here all, all night? <laughs> yeah, he's already slept. He doesn't need to sleep. Yeah, I, I've got nothing better. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> And because keep in mind, Lumpy, I only came out here after like the night wound down in the tavern. Which so I mean, it's, it's like, like, like one o'clock, two, two in, yeah, one eight, two a.m. So I'll just—I have no idea how long you've been asleep, so I'll just sort of hang out there, gently play music to myself with my lyre because it's the quietest one. Well, unless anything happens, I'm just asleep. 
Yeah. So if you know everybody's just kind of winding down, just people are sleeping now. Um, you know, nothing. The dragon's not gonna fly over and burn every the town while you guys are sleeping. So you will wake up and nothing's nothing's happened. But as you're waking up, you might hear uh, like the people in the tavern might hear start hearing like whispers and talks about like the performance last night and about like uh, pinning off <laughs> the mighty. Um, you know, might be going around like people like oh, you know, like talking about it, whispering about him. Like that was so exciting. He must be so cool. Like you know, and they're all kind of like trying to keep an eye out for him. Sorry, what do you want, little horns? Good morning. Do you like my performance last night? Uh, it was a flight of fancy. No, it was all true. <laughs> well, as someone who was closer to the action than you were, it was... I watched it. No one else hit that one. <laughs> I believe you <laughs> hit that one. I didn't hit him. I... I feel, I feel like I, I do recall words being shouted and... I just yelled at him. So he, like, smelled bad and something. That's true, that's true. Well, you, really are, you really are Pinball Canoe the Mighty, though. I meant that. No, no, no. The rest of the party did far more than I, I may have accidentally given you a fan following here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I told them not to swarm me, but they might. Uh, little horns. Uh, this would be so tedious. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like crowds. I told them that, actually. <laughs> That's very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. uh, well, nothing for it then. Uh, but in future, please tell tales of someone else. Oh, I'm going to tell tales about all you guys. Start with the ghoul Winirlet. Uh, how you say? Uh, um, cold, fragile... Uh, Evelyn, Evelyn. That's the one. I'll get to you all in time. Don't worry. <sighs> Where are you guys? Fucking... We're in the tent. We're over here. <laughs> yeah, <but> oh. <laughs> hanging out behind. <laughs> well, time to face the day, I suppose. Uh, I'll uh, why you, the tavern why did you sleep in here, by the way? I prefer outdoors. I've never been at. I, I, I right, don't hang feel on. I got you on the audio. Stop moving. Yeah, need... I don't feel at home that. surrounded by walls. No oh, fair enough. Mom wants you upstairs. The dogs are alone. Yep. But I will join the townsfolk for food. I, I will go with them towards the tavern to get breakfast. Uh, get breakfast? All right. So then as you guys are, uh, like, who walks in first? Uh, I would if he's following. Yeah. All right. So then as you open up the doors, uh, people are going to, like, turn to, like, see who's coming in. And then you're going to hear some, like, gasps, like, <gasps> and then, that's Ben Volcrano. And, like, me, whispers. The and then they're going to be like, Ben Volcrano the Mighty. And they're just going to start that's shouting. Me. <laughs> Swarm me. I love it. I love the attention. Come over here. I'll sign your kids. <laughs> <laughs> so people, weird. like, you know, come up and they, like, want to, like, shake your hand or something stuff. And they're going to, like, you know, it's kind of like a small little. To save this town. Your people are the most friendly, the kindest. <laughs> You're really awesome. I, I hope am. my kid grows up to be like you. He better. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, you know, as you're walking in, people will start, like, moving aside so, like, you can get through. But they're, they're just all going to start, like, standing there, like, watching you, like, walk up to get food. <laughs> yep. I'll take your finest broth. <laughs> your finest <laughs> eggs. <laughs> You know they'll they'll come out and they'll hand you a bowl and they'll just say it's on the house. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. The purity of the country folk. That's why I do the work I do. You're so kind. I'll also order breakfast. How much does it cost? Uh, it depends. Like what kind of like meal you want. 
No, Here, just want, for, like, for like, my friend, I'd give anything. His breakfast is on me. Do you want like some porridge or woman, something? Thanks. It's yeah, breakfast is on me. Porridge yeah, it sounds like eggs. Yeah, it'll be a, uh, you know, like one silver, and it's you know they've got like some. What's this world's equivalent of like brown sugar to you know kind of sweeten it up a little bit, and you get like a half of like slice of bread with it. Hell yeah, I should probably be over here, huh? <laughs> How much more would something like uh, eggs or something with bacon be? Uh, for like a nice like eggs and bacon with maybe like a slice of bread, probably like two silver. All right. Yep. Yeah. I'm like I think we'll have that instead of the porridge. It's cooked meat, but that's better than freaking plants. <laughs> If you go into the kitchen, could you get raw meat? Probably, but I don't think they would take very kindly <laughs> to somebody walking into their kitchen and then just grabbing meat. Well, could yep. you, like, order just raw meat? massive, massive uh, like they, they they would, it. It'd probably be very questionable, and they, like, might feel uncomfortable saying yes. So, they like, they'll okay. probably say no. Fair enough. And they kind of look at you weird. I have a weird feeling. He probably does ask that, and it doesn't catch that they look at him weird. <laughs> They'll just say, uh, n- no. Yep. <laughs> so he deals with cooked meat. Alright. Yep. So. Where be the rest of our companions? What are the rest of you guys doing? Are the rest um, of us also yeah. grabbing bacon and shit? Alright, it'll be the Standing same price. He's just grabbing it. It'll be the same price as uh, what Mitchell paid. Two silver for bacon. <laughs> just reach over, start pulling it off the plate. <laughs> this is mine now. <laughs> Leo, are you eating any breakfast? Are you having porridge, bacon, and eggs? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the two silver. Alright. Yep. I mean, at least you get to see what goblin fingers taste like. <laughs> 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 licking his own fingers like mm. they don't taste very good he doesn't like his water unseasoned so he like he like puts his <laughs> hand in the glass before he drinks it cool. soaks it in there so what about our minotaur added on is just chilling outside underneath the tree after waking up Added on, I should say that I I love your presence in the group. You hold me to the mark. A uh, higher one isn't here right now. I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking up into the <laughs> air and I'm I'm sort of <laughs> talking out loud. I love big horns. Big horns is great. That's good. They hold me to a higher moral standard. I wouldn't be the hero I am without big horns. Mm. So then after you guys are all done eating your food, are you going to go back to Eddie? Yep. Yup. Go talk to Eddie. Yeah. The boar. Sir Eddie Bristleborn. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Namnik looks excited about it. Mm. Eddie time. Eddie time. Uh. Oh. Oh. Yep. I think he just kind of lopes back across the path, like across town. He doesn't actually bother following the paths. There we go. I know it's being a little, a little uh, annoying about it tonight. Yeah. All right, Evelyn, are you joining them or are you staying at the inn? I think he said he was coming with. Yeah. All right. I'll just move him over. All right. So then you guys are, you know. I guess I'll. Welcome back. So as you guys are, uh, as you guys are walking up, Eddie's just uh, like gonna be walking outside because it's you know fairly early in the morning and he's got some. You got to check on Nene. Um. <laughs> so as he, he'll see you guys walking up, he'll be like, "Hey, good morning. You know, how did you guys sleep? Remember anything about why you're here?" No. no. I, I have a weird rock. Mm. I don't know why. It is very strange. Um, <laughs> he's like, 
some sort of plant and color. I'm unsure what it means. Do you mind if I take a look? Yeah, he'll pull it out and. Is he? You're showing him your uh, trinket, right? Nah, something, something. Oh, different. something different. Yep. Uh, so I he's gonna. If you want to look at one. Yeah, let me take a quick look at this. It's the second one, of course. <laughs> it's just a regular fucking rock. Yeah, it is just a regular rock. <laughs> he'll kind of uh, like, you know, look it over and. Just kind of like hand it back to me. He's like, oh, that's a nice looking rock. I um, suppose it's rock. You know, that's pretty cool. And somebody must, you know, must be some sort of memento for you to keep it on your, yourself or something. What is a memento? Uh, he doesn't really know how to explain it. So he's just going to like, ah, just kind of like shrug. And just, I don't know how to explain it. It is an important rock. Yeah, good you know, good enough. Um, he, so he's gonna start talking to you guys about like the bandit problem. Um, between it's at the. Uh, I'll move you back to the main map so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Because we're gonna end after this conversation. Because I'm okay. getting a little bit of a headache. Okay. Um, so your guys are in Bristlebore, which is over here. Mm -hmm. Um, ha shift click on it. You said or. Yeah, if you shift click on, uh, well, shift hold. Yeah. I'll shift hold. All right. So yeah, we're in Bristlebore. Um, the bandits that he's talking about are up here, like in this like area. Um, they're near the uh, the fork in the road by the, the keep over here, which is the capital for this kingdom. Um, and they keep attacking people, like merchants, as they start traveling either down towards Bristlebore or up towards uh, Goosling. Um, but the fact is they're too far away, like, the guards for Bristlebore are, there's, like, a very few of them, so they don't, they can't afford to, like, leave the town undefended to go deal with them. And, uh, How they sent, days? uh, it's probably, a, like, two days to get, uh, you know, near that area that they they were attacking at. Um, you'll be, you'd be pretty close, like, within, like, a half a day to the capital at that point. Um, but they keep attacking people as their the merchants and travelers either come down to you know give us goods here in Bristlebore, or if they head up toward north towards Goosling, they um been attacking people along or pretty early af uh, from those places. And the capital has been lazy, and they haven't sent out any guards from the royal uh, capital to take care of them yet. And I can't afford to leave the town with my guards. Do you know how many? Uh, a fa probably a fair amount. I'd probably say like they might be in small, working in small groups. Um, one attacking the north, one group attacking the south. So probably in total, there's probably like twenty, with like probably some sort of leader to them. But they, I don't think there'd be twenty all at once because I'm pretty sure they they're split up. Mm. Well. This seems like a thing we could do. It'd be very helpful, too. And then after you guys, you know, come back here, we can pay you, give you guys some supplies to help with your journey. And maybe you might be able to find some information at the, the capital or uh, about why you guys are here or where you guys might have come from or somebody might know you or seen you before. Maybe. I don't know why. I mm. I'm going to use them by on. Yep. He's just gonna kind of nod his head because he's like, huh? he doesn't want to be rude and ask you to repeat yourself, but he's gonna like nod his head like you understood what you were saying. I'm rub my fingers together. Uh, money, money. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, all right. We want to um, he'll say like twenty gold pieces each if you guys complete it five, and come back. You know, he's like, just come back with like some sort of thing to evidence that you know you fought bandits like if they have like knives or daggers or insignias or anything along that might identify them as like ears. thieves or brigands ears fingers whatever people with ears are always brigands I'm an identifier of a bandit. Mm -hmm. fingers ears. <laughs> all, all brigands have fingers all people with bring fingers back, bring back two ears and a dagger for every bandit <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he'll hand um like 
you know, a couple days rations to each of you guys to, like, help you get there. Oh, cool. Thanks. No mm. problem. Um, but yeah, and so then with that, like, you know, you guys know roughly of, like, that there's two groups of bandits. He, he's not asking you to deal with both right away. Um, his main concern is the, one, the group attacking the people on the path to, between Bristlebore and the capital. Um, the other group is Goosling's problem. <laughs> Where's Sounds Goosling? good. Uh, Goosling it will be, is this one, the town uh, north of the capital, along the road. Alright, so the capital is this one. Yes. Cool. So these these buildings are capital cities for the different kingdoms. So there's another kingdom over here in the... Um, it's, where can I draw? Uh, Wildlife. Yeah. Yeah, so like, the kingdoms are split here, like something like a lot like that on the mainland here. And then it ends up uh, there. So everything, you know, below the pink line up here and on the right-hand side of this is all part of the same kingdom that Bristlebore's in. This island is dead separate. A separate kingdom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, our characters don't know that. Yeah, but yeah. just so you guys have, like, some clarity. Cool. I'm guessing on the map they have some sort of marker where the kingdoms begin and end, right? Yeah, like, uh, like attention, you are now leaving the kingdom. Like, pack your rations. and. They might have, slowly. like, a, like, a small, like, little, like, watchtower, like, little guard. Mm. Um, uh, you know, people along, yeah. kind of like a guard, guard patrol along the road there to just make sure there's nobody getting a, like, you know, suspicious might walking towards the capital and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yep, that sounds yeah. good to Navnik. Yeah, so with that, you know, you guys, he gives you your next, you know, mission, and with that, we will end the session for now. It went a little. It went a slightly faster than I was expecting, so I didn't have this next little part. All right. I knew what I wanted to do, just I didn't have that, it planned. That out. happens. Cool. No worries. Sometimes it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it is the opposite. Yeah. My yeah. Golem yeah. can talk, like the, yeah. but the he Jaggy doesn't. And the great <laughs> session. <laughs> Same here. Oh well, yeah. So yeah, you guys started down here, uh, in between this lake and the road. Um, you guys kind of started like right in the middle, and you made your way up the over the bridge where you guys met Eddie, and then into Bristlebore. Mm -hmm. Thank you for playing. I really that enjoyed. That was fun. It. That was fun. Yeah. Thank All right, you for running. Campaign it. over. Yeah. Go All right. That's team. it. That's that's it. No more sessions. <laughs> <laughs> we did ah, great. Subscribes to the Leo style. <laughs> Ball up your character sheet. No. Uh, we'll play uh, next Wednesday at the same time, 7 p.m. Okay. Unless, unless um, if anybody code. needs any, like, wants to flesh anything out a little bit more, just ask me. And uh, can I flesh out the level two section of my character sheet? <laughs> yes, you guys will. I I was planning on you guys leveling up, so you guys will all be level two. Woo! Hey, do we have to roll hit points, or are we just? Oh, uh, you can do. Points? You can do whatever you feel like. If you wanna, be, if you wanna be spicy and roll for it, go ahead. Oh, you gotta roll for it. Yup. Yeah, I'll just above average, it. we take those. I always forget Ranger is D10. You know what? If I if I get a low number, <laughs> of oh, no, Mitchell. Oh no, Mitchell. I mean, it's still four. It's still four, but that's not good. That's real bad. Yeah. It's all right. Next one, you're gonna get ten. Almost yeah, make up for it. It's yeah. not how that works. <laughs> oh god, so far I'm the only one that's rolled above average. Oh jeez. I rolled above average. Hold on, I'm loading up roll 20 again. I mean, you rolled Lumpy, exactly what? average. Lumpy, what? What class are you taking? Also, yeah, that, that uh, should be a I, D12. If my you're level hard. 2 class is not Barbarian. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not rolling because I don't wear armor, and I need the defense. Yeah. I mean, nor, nor do I, but... <laughs> Six. Yeah, so Leo, we didn't really figure out what your trinket looks like or anything, did we? Uh, I didn't even know I was supposed to have a trinket. Yes. I completely forgot about it, so I wrote it into my treasures. I'll give you guys a hit. <laughs> Boy, here we go. Lumpy's starting to warlock already. <laughs> um. So we gain what? What is it again? Is it 8 plus our mod? Our constitution modifier? Uh, so it's either 
you either roll a d8 and add your con to it, or you just take five and add your con to it. That's what it is. I knew I had an eight for a reason. Yeah, so Eleanor, uh, you basically you'll have a trinket, which can be like a necklace or a ring or like some sort of small object. Um, they're magical in nature, which is secret for you to know what they do, but uh, you guys don't know what they currently do because you forgot what your memory is. So a 20-foot key would be a four square by four square square? What? Yeah, because each key would be four square by four square, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Action surge. Uh, you know, let's go with. I was trying to think which one I should do, but I think the two weapon fighting works better for what I wanted. Yeah, that's it. That's all fighters get. Action surge. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Such a horrible ability. Oh wait. <laughs> it's one of the best abilities for low level characters. <laughs> Heck, it's one of the I best abilities for any too. characters. <laughs> yeah. The ability to just say, F you, I get another action is great. <laughs> oh, I Gosh. get jack of all trades, baby. Mm -hmm. You have all the skills. Yep, sure do. Now I have to go remember how to click that button. So Boop! Now I just need Found to slight... Oh, well, no, I just need to yeah, remove my offhand short sword because they're all the same now. And I get Song of Rest. Potters. Everyone loves Song of Rest. <laughs> and um, Dylan, we can chat later about uh, uh, Patron. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I'm, I am going to go take some like ibuprofen, though, because my head's starting to hurt. Yeah, feel, feel, feel better. better. Feel better. Yeah, I, I, I'm used to dealing, for the most part, with headaches on a regular basis. <laughs> Still doesn't mean we want you to feel that. Yeah, yeah I get that. Oh, he's used to it, guys, so he's fine. <laughs> Just let it go. Just let him, let him suffer. Uh, I will. I will suffer no words of support. So the skeleton. So I'll let you know. I was expecting this fight with the skeletons to go a little worse, and if it was starting to go bad, Eddie was gonna show up and basically save the day, anyways, because yep. he was heading in that direction. So if you guys were like all like on the fucking unconscious, he'd just come in and save you all. <laughs> yeah, no. We have enough. We have enough beefy people, I think. Yeah. No, our good. class is early game masters for sure. <laughs> Late game, dead. We have a bunch of people. Dead, with, dead, we dead, have dead, a dead. barbarian, a bunch of people with D10 hit die. Yep. <laughs> we are beefy. Like Theo and I are the weakest at level one. Really? And I mean, admittedly, we were just completely worthless. But yeah. <laughs> what is Theo? He's a goblin. No, no, no. The class. <laughs> right? He's a ward mage. That's, that's his class. He's a goblin. He's a goblin. Right. Sorry, what didn't mean age. to click that. It's fine. Sorry. My bad. I was working on uh, dating my character. Oh shit, I get a new spell. Oh, yeah, that, but yeah, I'll be right back. I'm gonna time. go get my medicine and go to the washroom. Time to go time to go grab a fucking bard spell. Maybe I'll grab one that can actually deal damage in combat. Don't you dare. Well, I... well it depends on what's cool at level one. I don't know, you Bane doing damage kind of, kind of against it. No, no, okay, wait, no. My sorry, my concentration slot is already taken. What's your concentration slot taken by? Uh either heroism or silent image. Awesome. Hmm. Heroism is just the best spell. I should actually check if this is As I level up and get higher level spell slots, you bet I'm just gonna cast it at higher levels. Is this the one I want? No. Ooh, I can learn sleep. Sleep's fun. Yeah. If we fight more undead, though, it's going to be a problem. The oh, they aren't, they, yeah, they aren't affected by it, are they? No. Nah. Nah. I was surprised um, that cutting you don't sleep. works because they're mindless. It, well, it doesn't say anything about their uh, like. They would give them capacity. most likely immunity to. Uh... It's just like. <laughs> It's unclear it's that skeletons and zombies understand any language, though. Well, it, it, it specifically says they don't have to understand the language. Oh, well, they just I... have to hear it. <laughs> so if you're deaf, uh, you I actually can't be you. <laughs> um, see if this works. I have one question. I might have an answer. What is it? 
So it says in my features that I gain a key. Yep, it's basically like a... Oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know what Payton's using in uh, Jake's like, campaign? The Moxie? Like chakra points? Yeah. Thing. Yeah, it's this, It's basically the exact same system. You spend key points to do special stuffs. Okay. Um, and then the keys are these choices I have here, which are Flurry of Blows, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind, correct? Yep. yep. And you have you have all of those. It's just when you spend a key point, you can use any of those abilities. Thank you. Yep. Monk is fun that way. Can you I also use key points really, really fast at low levels? Heck, even at high levels, would burn like... through them very quickly. Yeah, high levels you can no like level five. You can just spend them. like all of them in one turn if you want. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so hmm. they're like an extra move. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean, kind of. It depends on the ability. Like, uh, I'm trying to remember what monk's base ones are. Flurry allows you to, instead of attack just the one time, you can attack twice. Oops. I'm trying to think. So what the heck are the other two? That would be like attacking four times, basically. Uh, three times at this level. Once no, because five, it'll be. No, I mean, because punch, punch. Well, the problem at punch? this moment in time, oh, yeah, your, you're right, your that's attack only one other action, action. One, yeah, your attack action is one punch. And then with the flurry, you do punch punch. Okay, so of, it is three. Yeah, yeah. It, it it replaces your your normal just extra punch. So instead of punching it twice, you punch three times. Uh, and then I think, yeah, patient defense basically allows you to do what rogues goblins. Actually, no, goblins don't get dodge as a bonus action. That would be insane. Yeah, but you can use dodge as a bonus action, which is really, really good defensively. Uh, and Step of the Wind means you can move really fast. Yeah, it gives you either disengage or dash as a bonus action. Okay. It also makes your, your jump distance doubled. You know, for all the times that matters. I'm going to jump all sad. the time. Just constant jumping. <laughs> it's funny, they have a... Um, I remember I played a just one set one session cam not really a campaign a one shot with uh, Zelda, and so they had the Gorons where one of their attack moves was roll at opponents because they're Gorons. Of course, that's what they do. So I just want you to picture my character jumping around. He's a big ball of like clay, basically. <laughs> Boing it around like a Pixar lamp. Shatter as soon as you touch the ground. <laughs> I feel like that's no. what would happen if we're gonna be honest. Isn't it soft clay for a a clay golem? I mean, yes, but I always you know it was hard clay, but I don't know. Yeah. I like to think of it as that clay that you find in Massachusetts specifically. That's like red clay. Mm -hmm. Like water's not getting in there. It's thick, but sticky. What is it? Clay golems, I think, are healed by acid, I believe? No. I... No? What golem is healed by acid? The only way you can heal me is through mending. I have returned. I think th this golem is different than... Uh, yeah, normal oh. clay golems are. Monster golem. Yeah. yeah, acid absorption. I remember actually someone went and thought up a really, really nasty trap with that, where you just put two clay golems in a room and then just start filling the room with acid and lock both doors. Sounds fun. Yeah. So not only are you fighting two clay golems, you're fighting two clay golems that continually heal every turn. Because that's very fair. I have officially leveled up. I just, just... need to pick spells. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that. I'm really loving the fact that I don't have spells. Spells yeah, make me mad spell. right now. <laughs> I'm considering just saying fuck it and taking prestidigitation. It's kind of a sick spell. It is kind of a sick spell. When do thinking I get about, my next cantrip? Thinking That's about Mage right. Hand, to be honest. Mage Hand's, oh, Mage Hand's also sick. Mm -hmm. oh, I get my next cantrip at level 3. Damn. Yeah, or, no, level 4, invisible. sorry. Uh, nah. Level 4, I, oh, I could also take a feat at level 4. I could take that, like... One where you get two more cantrips. 
why are cantrips so hard to come by? I just want cantrips. Because they're uh, infinite spells? On a lot of my characters, like whenever I make a variant human, it's almost always to take magic initiate level one and get cantrips. I fucking yeah, I just cantrips. I just like cantrips. Me too. I, I don't I don't wow. like cantrips that are just like damage cantrips or anything. I just like the goofy ones. Yeah. Minor illusions a ton of fun. Prestidigitation's awesome. Thaumaturgy is great. The problem Mage is you hand. need you need people to act like the DM to actually work with you on those. So otherwise yeah. you can't use them as effectively as otherwise. Even so though. Yeah, let's go with that. That's a fun spell. Mage Where hand sick. Spell? Thaumaturgy's awesome. I mean, it doesn't say it's UA, but I don't remember the spell at all. Oh, I thought, wait, Bards can't even learn Thaumaturgy? Oh, no, they can't. Okay, what's the say? <laughs> oh, no, wait, what? Only clerics can learn Thaumaturgy? Yeah. It, only clerics. For some reason. Fuck? Well, I know, right? We're going to have to. It's like how sorcerers are no longer board. able to get familiars anymore. It's banned. What? Sorcerers yeah. don't get familiars anymore. Why? What, what do you mean? Because they can't learn find familiar. Wizards? No, sorcerers. sorcerers. Oh, like what? No. Monka S. In your opinion, uh, Leo, we are would you have even considered a sorcerer could get a familiar? No. <laughs> my my 3.5 Pathfinder heart breaks. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't even think Wizard and go, oh yeah, I need a, I need a familiar. Because familiars don't really do anything. They're somewhat useful for a couple of other things. The warlocks get a fun little extra stuff for familiars. What? Yeah. Why is that spell not in here? That is Hail of Thorns. Why is it not on both lists? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be a good noodle and drag in spells from the compendium. <laughs> it's yeah, so they hard. They don't always exist on the compendium. Yeah, they're not even here. Range attack spell creates a range of Dissonant horns, Whispers that? was looking kinda sick. Compendium oh, won't even let me drag things. like normal things. It literally is like fuck you. Yeah. I I kinda like the compendium, but a lot of the time I'm just happy to do it myself. I don't mind. Um one question on Step of the Wind. It says I can spend one to take the disengage or dash action as a bonus bonus action. Is that in addition to my bonus action? No, it's instead of your bonus action. It okay. allows you to use those abilities as your bonus action. Because yeah, normally, normally they take an action. Yep. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah. All right, time to look up Dissonant yeah. Whispers because that spell's it's kind of annoying because rogues just get to do that sort of stuff all the time because that's just a natural ability they have. But you have to spend mana to do it effectively. <laughs> just goes to show why Jake hates this role class. What? I love Monk. Yeah, Don't Monk trust. Is, Monk is fun. I just think that I think Monk is weak. I just love it. I mean, it has a lot of abilities. Just oh my god! Yeah. So I organized all the cards today for our next game night, guys. Mm -hmm. For the the game I was really excited about. When's that going to be? Uh, when quarantine ends. So well, hold on. So never. <laughs> Let's not be hasty here. There are so many ways to add curses to people. I'm loving it. For what game? Heart of Crown. Heart of Crown? Yes. Yeah, Sounds here it's the new chess. No, it's not the new chess. <laughs> it's it's basically a frilly version of Dominion. It's the new Dominion. No, it's not the new Dominion. It's just a frilly version of oh, it. The guy who made it. It's Dominion and Lingerie. Yes, there you go. Dominion, uh, like Town of Salem, that sort of yeah. thing, or okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like Town of what Salem. What the heck? What? No, it's not at all like Town of Salem. What? You're confusing Mitchell. You're confusing. You're confusing Mitchell. <laughs> he said like Town of Salem, and you said yes. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, you you said yes, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. That's yeah, Jacob. Really. I apologize. My freaking ears cannot tell some people apart here. <laughs> That's Jake lump. is fine. 
Lumpy Woo! is yeah, I don't just... know why. Lumpy, you and Dylan's voices in my head just never freaking... Like, I have to listen really careful or else my ears are just like, yeah, that's totally one or the other. I think I do that with uh, Kurt and Zobi for some reason. Really? I, 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 every t- I'll just say Kurt when I'm trying to say Zobi, like, or Josh for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> like, Kurt just f- pops into my head first. Yep. I think it's for the fact that, like, I don't know, I just find Kurt really easy to say. Hunter's Mark. Kurt is easy to say. And I think that's why it just pops in, like, I, don't want, I just want to say Kurt. <laughs> Damn it. How do I make this? It's the name that also sure. describes how you say it. <laughs> this thing be cast at higher levels. Seriously, though, guys, I'm really looking forward to it. I'll, uh, here, actually, let me show you. Let me see I if I can wait find till, like, it. I be able to hug someone who isn't in my immediate family. That will be nice. I mean, hey, Lumpy, we can hang out in real life. Mm. You can give me a hug. I, I don't fucking care. Want to make out? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Only Wrong you button. The wrong button. Scar Snitch Crab Wrangler. I love it. Oops. Double wrong button. I'm still impressed, though, by that, like, single zombie kobold that just fucking refused to die. <laughs> yep. I still remember. It's one of my favorite moments from the the Saturday campaign where we had this person, our, our fighter, who wields two uh, broadswords. So they're 2D4, mm-hmm. like, little... Well, they're not really all that dinky. They're basically better long swords, uh, except they can be wielded two hand and uh, one hand each. And so he went and he just hacked turn after turn on this one zombie who just kept making the save over and over <laughs> again and just refused to die. And then I think some person just like pinged it with like one little like you know whatever like spell. damage uh, spell yeah. or like arrow, and it just immediately died. And he's just like, "What the goddamn hell?" <laughs> It was. It's just. It's they well also were like, kind of moving there with their crits for a bit. Yeah, I think I got like four of them. Yep, they're almost as dangerous as the skeletons. Almost. Yeah. Skeletons were a little. No, I had more skeletons like... that ended a combat because they crit the first three attacks. I think they no the first two Jesus. attacks, and then they rolled like max damage for the last one. So they knocked out three players in the first round. The that's kind of that's kind of nuts. Yep. They were supposed to fight ten. Uh, four of them freaking handled it. <laughs> the last six didn't even get involved. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't really want Hunter's Mark because I already have something else that acts basically as the same. Especially because I'm not going to range as much as I can. This ranged fighting is not preferred. I have pasted pictures of the different princesses you can support. What? Please enjoy. Uh, what is the context here? Of the game. Oh my what god, game? you tell me it was an anime game. Let's fucking go. Hmm. What game? Uh, that the, always reminds me the of game she told us about. The, the game oh, I Heart of Crown. Okay, so we back yeah. different princesses. At some yeah, point, uh, remind me, remind yeah, me a... to run maid here because I think you guys will get a oh. kick out of it. Let's Theo, the... you can you cannot be involved. I know Peyton is gonna freaking swear me up and down. I I, I don't think like the design of a couple of these. Well, um, I have different designs for each card because I bought every version of it. Okay, like hey, I don't are you just like saying the... no for Peyton's sake, or did you just not want to play it ever again? Too? I don't. I don't like the busty child. I don't like the naked child. None of them are children except for the one with the bear. Oh, are they all secret like a thousand years old? Um, <laughs> yep. The one the with the adults. dragon uh, tail is, but the others are... Look at the purple-haired one. Don't tell me that doesn't look like a naked child. I mean, I have all of their pictures literally with me right now. Yeah, I, I see what you're talking about, but it's anime style. They're all legally allowed to become the queen of their nation. So they are 16 or older. No. Or is it 14? It might and be as 14. As we know, 16 is okay. It might be 14, actually, now that I think about it. But I'd like to point out that this game... The wolf is, is flashing mad underboot for no reason. Uh, hey, you're the one looking at it, bro. I'm concerned First off, by it. that is a warrior... And I am offended that you yeah, it's... only see their boobs. You told me these were you told me these were princesses. Yes. 
Oh, she Warrior is... Princess, like Mononoke? Uh, she's like, more exactly like... like Mononoke. She's got the wolf and everything with the same coloration. Actually, no, she's she's more like Sejuani. <laughs> Sejuani? Yeah, I, that's the image you should have for her. <laughs> Why? That's that's more like what she's like. It's the wolf with the same coloration as Mononoke's wolf. Why is she it like doesn't... Sejuani? She doesn't have a wolf in the drawings. That's just this person's creation of these little doll things. Oh, this Ugh. is not even canon? Well, most of the pictures just are the correct. Naked ones. <laughs> no, the naked oh. one's correct. Why yeah. are we looking at... Oh, God. I don't like this at all. You haven't seen it! How can you not like it? I don't like it visually. Oh. Look, oh, so... they... Each princess has different abilities. Like this one, for example. She's like the one that everyone normally backs. Because she's the expected princess. She looks stupid. <laughs> Who the she... hell asked, what's your favorite snack? She said, oh, cranberry wine. I'd kill her on the spot. <laughs> Here's her younger sister. No, they're supposed to have pink hair if you kill them on the spot. Come on. Yeah, see, favorite favorite snack, chocolate. Significantly better. <laughs> that's what that's an acceptable answer. You know who I'm backing. <laughs> Here's another one. Again, red tea, not a snack. That is a drink. <laughs> My She's favorite done. snack is uh, is uh, water. Water. <laughs> I don't know. I think my favorite snack might be milk. <laughs> it's a good snack. The hell are Momo nuts? <laughs> Incidentally, I also enjoy the hobby of making money, so... Yeah. These are the Her name is Clam Clam. I'm not sure I can back it up. <laughs> These are the Oh, she was so princess. cool for a second. She has she has one of her eyes covered all edgily. Her hobby is chess, and then her favorite snack, she fucked it all up and said wine. God but This one you get two. These are the twin princesses. Twin print oh that's already all right, let's see what we got. They like the same things? Yes. Yeah, they're twins. That's how it works, right? I don't like them. It's Mainly the one on the left. Outfit. I have oh, some no. design problems. Hmm. We'll go with animal friendship over. The one. Oh, this one's off to a good start. God damn it. <laughs> Favorite snack, green tea. No. Right off that, there's so many I can't support because they don't know how to answer These simple are from questions. The <laughs> Steam game, which I didn't know existed. I'll keep going. How many more we got? Why is this one so small? I don't. Northern know. apples going for walks. She's got a gigantic skull on her head. See, I can I can respect that one. Am I supposed to be reading their summaries, by the way? Because I'm not. No, because technically that's not what even what I... What is going on in that campaign? <laughs> Ella has lost it. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even what I wanted you to see. I wanted you to see their actual abilities. What is yes. that? Because each Maybe. princess, when you claim them as the one We're you're backing, gives you abilities. No, Eleanor, you have to go through all of these now, though. Wait, oh, fine. Okay, let me see if I can find well, the other one. I have to see who has the best snack. Um. I can hack every spell. So, did I do that princess yet? No, I did that yeah, one. You did eight. You're, you're at number nine right now. Oh, I am trying. I have never looked at... Okay, um, expansions. Because we're in the expansions, and it's like, fuck you, you don't get to know anymore. Um, 
Oh my god, what a useless maid, I hate her. Um, da -dim -dim. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, I got an idea, I got an idea. It was just the only one I had. I probably should stop recording, huh? Mm, nah. Possibly. <laughs>